These are the leek seed, uh, seedlings uh, transplants. They were too small to plant the other day. And I've got me a little tray here. Uh, marked it with leeks. I marked this one with onions. And I'm going to plant these up to see if I can get them to grow in the greenhouse a little bit. And get a little bit bigger so I can plant them in the soil. Now these are my candy onions. And you notice some don't have roots on them. Some do have roots. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get these to, that have roots to grow some. And then some of these, see, has a little bit of dry root. And I don't really expect that to root, but it could root. There is something up inside there. But I never, you know, I generally toss these. But it can't hurt anything to stick them in soil just to see if they'll root. And if the majority of them come up, uh, that means that these little stub ends would root. It's 100 degrees out here today. Really nice and comfortable. The outside is about 36. And it's 10 to 20 knots of wind blowing, gusting to 40. It's a little bitter outside. Well, there are my leeks growing, hopefully. And on these uh, candy onions, I put a little mark right there. Uh, there weren't more than about six or eight that had a uh, root on them. And then these had a place where roots come from, and these down here didn't have any kind of root. I'll pull one out to show you. There's no root. So we're going to let them sit in a not real sunny place for a couple of days until they get acclimated into the soil. And then I'm going to stick them up on top there and they'll get all the sunlight they need during the day. One experiment. We'll find out what happens. This is part two of my onion and leek experiment. These were the leeks that were too, really too small to plant. Uh, and they all are growing it appears and these are the onions now you can obviously see from earlier in this video that they were a lot smaller than this now from this line back to here they all had actual roots on them from this line to about right here they had a place where roots could form and on the end they didn't have any place where roots had formed it was just the bottom stem of the onion. I have some growth in the ones with the actual roots on it. And there might be a few of these that had the roots on it. And as you can see from the green foliage, that's about where all the super growth starts, stops. But yet there's one there and one there that obviously has rooted itself. I'm not going to give up on these yet because they're still green here. But you can see where this is changes color and it's healthy looking. Where some of these stems are dark, getting higher, they're, they're not going to make it. Where the ones that are not dark at the top might still have a chance to grow. Well, there's the end of my leek, uh, leek and onion experiment. Here are the onions. Uh, I did another video, I'm going to add this one too. Uh, that's the mark. Everything on this side of the mark had some form of a root on it. All on this side, just a little ways, had just a little teeny piece of a root. But not much of anything. Just like the, the little rough places that a root could maybe grow out of. And then from about here on, they look like that. No root on the end. I could get one that was... Sometimes you pick these up and... Uh, when they harvest them and all, they harvest you more than you're buying because they know some of them will leave the roots in the ground. And so I just wondered if the ones that, the first two or three, maybe no more than six of these had an actual root hanging on them. These just had, at the bottom, it looked like a place could maybe come out of the, you know, it just looked like little teeny marks that maybe would form roots. And... This one had no roots, but it grew. These had, that had no roots, but it grew. And these, these little group right in there, 
the bottom of it just looked like a round circle with little teeny points sticking up and they did root because there was only five or six in here that actually showed a tiny root and all these when you take them out of the bundle sometimes there's no root and the whiter in a, in a part of the onion transplant is sticking out like the side has been slid up on it and uh, that's what all these were and see once they get to that point they won't root and that's what I wanted to find out they look like that and I didn't know whether that would root and obviously it didn't so it was worth a try I wanted to see what it would do and these were mostly really tiny and now I can plant these in the ground and here are my leeks uh, they were just real thin little things and uh, they're slowly coming along see the root mass and uh, there's probably 25 leeks in there and they've been sitting right up there next to that other little pot of uh, onions that had roots on it and I just stuck it in the bottom of it used to be on old drink cartons on old drink liter bottles I didn't mark them because you know what an onion looks like I used to grow my seeds in these all the time so they quit putting them on, on the liter bottles and I can plant those.